The Berenstein Bears' New Baby This weird bear country, you'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. You know to turn the page when you hear this sound. <clears throat> Let's begin now. Down a sunny dirt road, over a log bridge, up a grassy hill, deep in bear country, lived a family of bears. Papa bear, mama bear, and small bear. They lived in a, in a large tree which Papa Bear had hollowed, hollowed it, how hollowed it out, and made it made into a house. It was a very fine house. This is what it looked like inside. Small Bear's room. Mama Bear and Papa Bear's room. Kitchen. It was fun growing up in bear country. Helping Papa get honey from the old bee tree. Mm -hmm. ah, the bees are gonna sting us up. Helping Mama bring the vegetables in from her from the garden. There were all sorts of interesting things for a small bear to do and see in bear country. Small bear felt, felt good growing up in a tree in his own room in the snug little bed that Papa Bear had made for him when he was a baby. <clears throat> but one morning, it did not feel so good. This small bear woke up with pains in his knees and aches in his legs. Small bear, you have outgrown your little bed, said Papa Bear as he hitched up his overalls and butted, buttoned his shoulder straps. Today we shall go out into the woods and make you a bigger one. With that, he ate his breakfast of pipping hot porridge, washed it down with a gulp of honey from the family honey pot, took up his ax, and, and was out, out the door. But Papa, called Small Bear following after him. And what will happen to my little bed? Don't worry, worry about that. that. Don't worry about that, Small Bear, said, said Mom Bear as she closed the door after him. She smiled and patted her front which had lately grown very big and round. You've outgrown your that snug little bed just in time. What will happen to my little bed? Small Bear asked as he caught up with Papa Bear. But Papa was sharpening his ax on his, on his gr grinding st stone and didn't hear. Yes, indeed said Papa Bear. You need a bed that you can stretch out it out in. Sh stretch out in. A bed that will not give you pains in your knees and aches in your legs. He t he texted he tested the axe to see if it was sharp. Then headed off into the woods. What will happen to my little bed? Says Small Bear asked again, again as he caught up with, with Papa Bear, Bear in the woods. Papa had chopped down a tree and then was splitting, splitting it into boards. We will have a new baby soon, and who will need that little bed? Said, said, said Papa Bear as he whacked off another board.
A new baby? A small bear? He hadn't noticed that Mama Bear had grown very around lately. Although he had, he had noticed it was harder and harder to sit on her lap. And it's coming very soon? Yes, very soon, said Papa Bear. With a final whack, he smoothed off the last board, which gave him enough wood to make a bigger bed for Small Bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Number one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They made the bed a good size and took the rest of the day to chip it, chip and shave it smooth and neat. Then they carried it back, back to the tree and up to Small Bear's room. When he got, when they got there, Small Bear noticed that right away that his old bed wasn't there anymore. My little bed, said Small Bear, it's already gone. You outgrew it, grew it just in time, said so called Mamba Bear from the next room. Come and see. It was true! There was his snug little bed with a new little baby in it. Small Bear had outgrown his snug little bed just in time for his new baby sister. And now he was a big brother! She was very little, but very lively. A small bear leaned over for a closer look. She popped him on the nose with a tiny fist. Hmm, said small, said small bear. She has a pretty good punch for a little baby. <laughs> that night, he stretched out proudly in his bigger bed. Ah, he said, being a big bro brother is going to be fun. The next morning, he woke up feeling fine, with no pains in his knees or aches in his legs. His nose was a little tender, though. <laughs>